We use our hands for so many things, not just performing the tasks of everyday living, but communicating and expressing emotion too. The loss of your hand can mean a real loss of independence and identity. There are some really nice prosthetic hands on the market right now that offer great flexibility of movement. They can almost replicate the full range of movement of the natural hand. But controlling them is really difficult, so they're not used to their full potential. If we can provide technologies that improve the control of prosthetic hands, then we can help people to regain some of their lost independence. What we're trying to achieve in our work is natural, intuitive control of prosthetic hands. So-called myoelectric hands use electrical activity in the remaining muscles to send control signals to the motors of the prosthetic hand. But the number of signals you can record is limited, and that limits the movements you can make. In addition to that, the lack of feeling or feedback given to the user leads to unnatural control. That is, users are missing the sense of touch, the force on the fingertips, and the sense of where the hand is in space, how open or closed the fingers are at any given time. This means that users have to focus really hard on controlling the devices, and control isn't very natural. We use computer modeling to improve the control of prosthetic hands. The computer model can predict the natural movement of the missing hand from the recorded muscle signals, and these movement instructions can then be passed on to the prosthetic hand. One of the advantages of this approach is that by including knowledge of the biomechanics of the hand, we can make better predictions about what the user is trying to do from the recorded muscle signals. In the future, when we have access to more information from the remaining nerves of the residual limb, we'll be able to control more detailed movements of the hand than we can now. Another advantage of the model-based approach is that we can estimate or predict information about muscles which are, in fact, not present. This is the information on which proprioception, or the sense of movement of the hand, is based. Ultimately, this will provide the sensory feedback that's currently missing from prosthetic hands, and we hope will enable more natural control. When you come to see us at the exhibition, we hope to give you a real sense of just how complex and fascinating our hands are. We will have a physical model of the hand that you can play with to see how hard it is to achieve good control. You will be able to interact with our computer model to gain some insight into what your muscles are doing as you move your hand around. And we will also have a robotic hand that you can try to operate with your own muscle signals.